This is... Levio, you're back! Did I really beat Trillian? Really? Why, of course, this is no dream, Lady Levio. Yup, so cool. Welcome back, Levitan. Don't scare us like that. If you're going to win, win with finesse. I thought you were gonna there for a second. That was too close for comfort. I was about to cry too, damn it. Lady Levio, I'm so glad. Really, really glad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... I really accomplished my duty. I'm back. There it goes. Ah, I think of the tyrant. It's broken. It's probably because it finished its duty. Yes, it probably exerted whatever power it had remaining to transport Levia to the castle. Great overlord. Overlord Levia has returned with news of Trillian's defeat. Welcome back, Levia. Now I have nothing holding me back. Huh? What? What do you mean? Everyone, listen carefully. With all your help, we have succeeded in defeating Trillian. Yay! Same scene again, it's very weird. The damage done to the Underworld has been extensive. But under the new Great Overlord, the Underworld shall once again regain its grandeur. Cerberus is so awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so very happy. Well, guess that's that. Through many trials, our task has been completed. <laughs> what a day to experience. <laughs> Don't cry, Baphomet. Hey, stop crying. We won, you know. You're ruining the mood. Baffo Chin, you need to smile. Yeah. <laughs> it's my age. Uh, I just can't hold back my tears any longer. As promised, from today forward, I relinquish my title as Great Overlord. Dear brother, thank you very much for all your hard work. We all knew this was going to happen, but now that it is happening, it does feel a little sad. What's the big deal? It's not like he's going away or anything. <sighs> Are you really fine with this, Great Overlord? Of course. Now that I have stepped down and a new Great Overlord has been crowned, I can finally fulfill my promise. Promise? What promise did you have with Lady Faust? <laughs> As you all know, I lost my life against Trillian. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Faust. She continued to provide support for us. But this was only because of a contract I'd made with her. Go ahead, Faust. You're free to take my soul as promised. All right. What? What, 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 what's this? See, we already know it, it's not going to happen. Hey, what are you doing? This doesn't make any sense. Great Overlord, please explain in a fashion that my old brain can understand. I can't explain it any clearer. Upon defeat of Trillian, I am to surrender my soul to her. So that means, Great Overlord, you offered your life? Indeed. No, that can't be! It is. Hey, hey. wait now, you can't do that. I mean, you haven't even discussed something important like that with us. That's surprising to me too. I didn't know a promise like that was made. You can't be serious! How dare she ransom her services like that! Don't speak ill of Faust. I would have died if it wasn't for her. W well yes, but... Do you think we could have achieved victory without her Ring of the Tyrant or the anti-god suit? But still, you should have told us, Sabo-chan. <coughs> oh no, that's still so sad. You kept an important piece of information like that a secret all this time? I'm sorry, but my disclosing the deal would have only made matters worse. The first great overlord sacrificed himself to save the underworld from destruction. I'm simply doing the same. 
great overlord. Faust, thank you for all the help you've provided. I didn't help you. Like you said, that was simply part of the contract. You're right. And now it's my turn to honor the agreement. Let me lead you to a place more suitable for the ritual. Follow me. Understood. All of you, wait here. None are to follow. G Great Overlord, please wait! This is my final order, as the Great Overlord. I've only just noticed that Baphomet has wings. Are you sure about this? You're, you sure are persistent, Faust. Like I said, go ahead. If you don't hurry, my resolve may waver. <sighs> Here she comes. Please wait, Faust. Levia? Why did you come here, Levia? I told you not to come. I need to talk. Don't stop her. This is proper payment for the services Faust provided. I know that. I have no intention on stopping Faust. In fact, I really appreci appreciate all she's done. After all, if Faust wasn't here, you would have been dead, Ziabalos. No matter her objective, Faust saved the Great Overlord's life. I want to repay her for her great services done personally, and as the new Great Overlord, Levia. Levia. Faust, take a look at this. Alright, what's she got that can undo this? This is a shard from the Ring of the Tyrant. Yes. The ring you bestowed formed a bond between Ziabalos and myself. But, like you said earlier, there's no need for the ring already. Both me and Ziabalos are bonded by soul already. Our two souls... Our two souls is like one soul through our bond. Right. So I want to offer half of my soul, along with half of Ziabalos' soul, to you. Me and Levia's soul? Half? Me, not my, me and Levia's soul. Two halves equal one. Would that suffice? Wait, is that even possible? <sighs> that may be possible. Really? Of course, this isn't a simple matter of putting two halves as one. If that was the case, I wouldn't have struggled this much. But with how both your souls are now bonded through the Ring of the Tyrant, and in sync with each other, where... Both souls show similar properties. Maybe. And I suppose obtaining a half of a soul won't make either of the souls perish. Of course, this just means both of your magical powers and strengths will be weakened. But if you want to, I think I can test this out. Back then, I told you that you can have my soul. That feeling doesn't change. Ah yes, I haven't forgot our promise. I won't let you... I won't let you talk out of it. I won't let you talk out of it. What? I need to be fulfilled for my sake as well. I also told you that I need a shameless soul that would seek life, even if it meant eating the dirt that you walk upon. You need to never give up so long as possibility exists. Faust, are you sure about this? I just said I could test it out. That also means may not go well. And before you ask me, you should ask her that first. Levia, are you willing to live with me forever? Why, of course! Let's both live to our very best, Ziabalos. No matter what happens in the future, as long as you're with me, I won't fear anything. I don't want a world where you aren't around. Where you live is where I live, from now and forevermore. I feel the same way too, since the day I had to send you off to face Trillian, and even now, my feelings for you has not changed. Have, have not changed. There's too many spelling errors and stuff like that. It's throwing me off completely. Ziabalos, I'll never let you go alone ever again. Again, that seems odd. We'll always be together. We can overcome anything if we're together as one. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. Uh, did you? Whoa, did they just get married? Now then, let's begin. Place your hand you had the ring on onto the Grey Overlord's hand. Yes, we're ready. This is not the end, but merely a beginning to a new future. 
roll credits. I, I really, really, really do wonder whether or not one of these endings that we see, one of the Overlord's endings, is actually going to turn out with Faust taking his soul. I mean, they're all too good in my head. Okay. It, it, it doesn't feel right. I, I don't know why. It just feels like... There should be more. I've just spotted a spoiler that confirms my theory. Don't read the credits. That's all I'm saying. Don't read the credits. It just confirmed my theory that I haven't mentioned yet. But it did just confirm it. Some of you may have noticed it and be like, Ah, oh, I know what he's on about. I know what he's just noticed. Don't read the credits if you don't want to be spoiled because it just spoiled it. And I think I'm right because of that. But, ugh, it's crazy. So tired right now, I really am. It's bizarre. It's mainly because of all the Neptunia stuff that's come out recently. We had Hybrid Devotion come out, and we had the DLC for Mega Dimension. But it's like yesterday I had six hours sleep. That's not good for me. That's not healthy. I need to get more sleep. I'm going to sleep after I've done this. Like, how to put this? Right now, I'm rendering this video. This, not rendering, recording this video. Right now, while I'm rendering part three of Hyper Devotion Noir, because I don't have time to do it otherwise. Luckily, I do have loads of time coming up that I can do loads of stuff. It's just so much hit on Tuesday and Wednesday that it's just like, oh, I ain't got time to do anything. And it could have been much worse. Like, much, much worse, because some of you know, know what happened. Idea Factory kind of had to do something quick on PSN, PlayStation Network, because Mega Tag Mansion ended up on the store for like, in, it was probably like a few hours, it was on the store, available for people to download, go get it if they want, and it's like, um, if that stays there and that's intentional, I kind of feel like I need to go get it and do that as well as Hyper Devotion Noir. Luckily, Oddly, it's luckily that didn't end up being the case and it was an accident, so they took it down. I could have got it, could have got it, but I wouldn't have put out the parts at all until it, the official release date because I won't do that unless I get explicit permission, per permission, permission from Idea Factory themselves. That's the only time I'd do it. I have tried contacting Idea Factory to see if they'd like and give me any review code. No response from them. So, we'll see what happens. Might get some in future, but we'll never know, we never know. I did point out to him, it's like, I do still on intend... I can't speak at all. I still do intend to buy the actual game, because I want the limited edition, so... It's just for the benefit of me and them. That if I get it early, it would be good. We'll see, we'll see. It's probably something in, way in the future, like 10,000 subs, that I'd start being able to and get review code and stuff like that to be able to play the games early. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm trying not to look at the CG. Just trying not to not pay attention to them because it'll be spoilers. Just big, big spoilers and I don't want to see the spoilers. Uh, but I have seen a few comments on what we want to do in terms of which overlords should we be given the choice we want to do first? It does seem to be everyone wants Ash Media first. And I've seen some good points about leaving Rouché till last out of the remaining three Overlords. As sort of like a, a nice, nice way to finish it, seeing as we started with Papel, that we finish it with Rouché. I like that idea, so I'm going with that, which obviously leaves Miss Sleepy as the middle one. So we've got Ash Media, Theogor, and then Rouché, that's, that's what we've decided. See, stop looking at the CG. Stop looking at it. Stop it. Close my eyes. Just, I don't want to see it, because I saw Cerberus. And that's a, that's a bad thing. I don't need to see Cerberus. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Clo uh, close my eyes completely now. I can't see anything. I don't even know if I'm close to the microphone right now, because I've been moving my head around while I'm speaking. I may have got further away from the microphone. I... I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to open my eyes. It's really weird. It's bizarre. 
Oh, why did I look at the screen right now? I'm gonna remember that. Why is she crying? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. Don't, no one tell me. I don't wanna know. I'll find out later. Ah. Uh. But, also, just so I can clear up some confusion, what we plan to do, in terms of the overlords, is just spam interact. That's all we're doing. So we can get the CG scenes to unlock some of these things we're seeing now. So we'll unlock them. And it will also progress the story very nice, very quickly. Because we're not going to need the training at all. Really. We're just not going to need it. If we did, that would feel a bit bizarre. Because we've got enough XP. Assuming we carry it enough across each time. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I hope I can just spam interact. Does mean we're going to get a lot of affection points. Idea Factory. Compile heart. Pre-app partners. I've never heard of pre-app partners before this. Is that the new studio? Studio? New studio that was created from the um, some of the remnants of um, NIS. I want to say NISA. Nisa. But I don't think it's Nisa. It's just NIS. I think it's those people. They created pre-app. Not sure, though. I waffled on quite a bit there. All to get ready for this post credit scene. I have no idea what I said, to be honest. Hope it made sense. Ha! Ah, great overlord! Welcome back! I'm sorry I was a day late on my return. It must have worried you. <laughs> Nonsense! I heard about how well you led the forces from our messengers. I also heard you have delivered a mighty blow against the angels. Y yay All I did was show myself to raise the soldiers' spirits. The bigger praise you go to the overlords Ragan and Ergo. Ah, yes. Just thinking about how well things went has filled me with youthful enthusiasm. I'll make a formal report to everyone tomorrow. Now, without a side, hmm. I don't see Levia around to greet me. Is she feeling all right? Why, of course. She has been conducting her duties quite admirably while you were gone, Great Overlord. See, the thing here, why is Diabolus still the Great Overlord right now? Are they both the Great Overlord? I can see why you have chosen her to be your one true love, Great Overlord. I see. If she's doing fine, all is well. In particular, her political skills are exceptional. Why, just a few days ago, she followed an ancient passage of right-waving her. And where is she? Hmm? Come to think of it, I haven't seen her around. Great Overlord Levia is probably curled up in her room. Is this the first time we've heard the fox? Uh, her voice? What? Is she sick? Hmm, if it worries you, why don't you check yourself? Y you How dare you speak in that manner to the Great Overlord? Calm down, Baphomet. Sh she's in her room, right? Yes, I, I think so. What do you made voice? Baphomet, I'll leave the rest to you. If anyone needs something from me, tell them to hold off until tomorrow. As you command. Off he goes. I can't believe how much in love he is, even after all these years. He can't be helped! Not even Ambrosia can heal his state! That... that sounded a bit weird. It's me, Levia! I'm back! Damn it, it's locked! You're in there, aren't you? Open the door, Levia! Ugh! <sighs> that was quite a rough welcome there, Levia. Late. Late? Hmm? I didn't hear you. Can you say it once more? You're late! Uh, I I'm sorry. I apologize for being a day late. That's fine. I understand. I bet everyone wanted you to stay longer. Uh, how did you know? <coughs> Ooh. Everyone was very excited, so we started drinking, and they kept pestering me to stay to see the battle, so... Uh-oh. Oh, that's right! 
Everyone said for me to tell you that... Do you know how worried I was? You idiot! <laughs> you were that worried for me? Are you surprised? Of course I was worried about you! You could have been harmed on the battlefield, you know! That's right. I'm not as powerful as I once was. Now do you see why I was worried? But... Using your power isn't all that is needed for victory. I learned that from our fight against Trillian. Especially your battle with it. Everyone says that they feel better just seeing me around. If that helps support the battle, then that will be my contribution to our cause. I know that you're doing your best. Different from before. I thought of bringing you along too. But we can't have both great overlords leave the castle empty. Right, there we go. It's finally answered my question. I know that too. Also, I didn't want to bring you anywhere dangerous. But I didn't take your concerns into account. I'm sorry to have kept you worried. No, I'm sorry for being so emotional. Just remember that the only reason I can leave with assurance is because I have a place to return to. Show me your face. Me like that. Why not? I haven't seen you for a while. But I bet my face is unsightly now. With how I kept thinking about myself, I wouldn't be surprised if my face reflected my selfish and envious thoughts. Is that why you locked yourself in your room? I'm sorry. Hmm. But you're right that I wouldn't want anyone else to see your face how it is now, Levia. After all, no one would expect the powerful, calm, great overlord Levia to be capable of such unabashed emotion. <laughs> I don't want anyone else to have the gift of seeing such an expression. It belongs only to me. Why you? I didn't know you were the type to say such savvy words to people with a straight face. Do I disappoint you? Why would you ask such a thing? I want you to answer. Please, answer me. You already know how I feel. I love you. Aww. 